What's up guys, Ed here, and today's Move With Rhino, we wanna show you guys a cool software that we found called Filmstro. It's actually a tool that allows you to score your films in real time. I know it kinda of sounds confusing, but Brandon's gonna actually show you how to actually use it for your videos, so let's go. All right, so what is Filmstro? Filmstro is a really awesome tool and software that allows you to live score your films. I wanna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what Filmstro looks like when you open it up. There are two ways to download it. You can either download a standalone application or what's really nice is you can download it for either Premiere or Final Cut. And we'll dive into that in just a moment. Right over here, we have a bunch of different tabs. So we'll go for music genre, and let's see what they have for cinematic. So we can go through, and there is a ton of songs, which is really cool. You have lots of different options for whatever your project looks like. So let's go ahead and, and play with what this sounds like right off the bat. So that sounds pretty cool. So as you can see, there's a lot of different songs and you can go through and pick which one sounds cool. The cool thing about Filmstro, after you've browsed through all these songs, is actually the ability to manipulate different aspects of each song. Kind of like you're customizing each song to your liking or your project. So right off the bat, you can see here, you have momentum, depth, and power. And the way that you can adjust these is just by sliding left and right and it basically will change it. So let's go ahead and give it a listen and see how it changes when you slide the sliders. So with that being said and how you can really customize and utilize these songs to your projects, I wanna go ahead and show you how we use it in Premiere. And the cool thing about Filmstro as well is you can download it as a standalone app or you can download it into Premiere or Final Cut. And we personally here at Rhino use Premiere, so let's go ahead and dive into it and show you what that looks like. We have a sequence that we shot a couple months ago with Lytra and we wanna rescore it. I'm in Premiere right now and this is my sequence that I want to score. So it's really easy what you do you can actually download from the website, Filmstro, and basically what you'll see is extensions, and you'll go Filmstro, and it'll pop up right here. And then what you can do, it's the same as the application where there's all the different kinds of moods. So I'm going to go with Adventurous, so each song has different tags, and for this specific sequence, it, we were out in the desert, and so I feel like Dust Country and Outback would be kind of a cool song. Let's see what it, listens, what it sounds like. I would say that fits pretty well to the sequence here. So what I'm going to do from here, and it's really, really simple, basically, you wanna to go to the beginning of your sequence in your timeline, and right here, there is a set in to playhead position. So we'll go set the in point, go into our timeline, and drag all the way to the end, and there should be a set out to playhead position. So we'll set the out point, and you notice that this little icon turns blue here, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and select our song, and then we will hit the use theme button, add that, and it goes straight into this editor. And this is where you can score your cinematic sequence or your narrative films all live in real time. It's really awesome. The cool thing about being in Premiere and using Filmstro directly linked with it is that you can pick a song, set your in and out points, and then you can start keyframing the depth, momentum, and power. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna play this right here. And as I drag the momentum up, you can see how the keyframe kind of makes a cool line. And this is all being saved real time. 
So I want to go ahead and give it some more power. At any point you can go back and change those keyframes and customize it how you like if you may have messed up during real time. And it's really nice because you can finesse it. For example, if I don't like how this went, it's really nice because you have all these tools right here that allow you to delete points, to undo, redo, reset points. It gives you a lot of options when you're trying to customize that song just right. start and give this some more power right off the bat. Start picking up the momentum here. Can you bring the depth down a little bit? Power all the way down, give it some build up maybe. Yeah. Now I want to bring it up because this is revealing the epic shot. So I'm going to bring the power all the way up. In that case, I was focusing just on power towards the end. But I want to bring all of the aspects up and what's really cool is all I have to do is slide to the point where I want to start ramping up and then it just changes in real time. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and change this really quick. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial showing you all about Filmstro. So the question is now, why would you use Filmstro? Well, right off the bat, if you can't afford a composer, this is a great alternative to that because it gives you a lot of flexibility and control with the library that they have already. If you guys wanna learn a little bit more about Filmstro, we'll drop a link below. You guys can go check out their website. They do some cool stuff. Download it, they have a free trial. You can mess with it all you'd like. If you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.